So if you're struggling to create React applications or edit your applications the easy way, Codex React Visual IDE is the right one for you. Let me show you how. So Codex is a visual IDE for React projects using TypeScript. And it allows you to do stuff like render React projects in real time, edit component properties, styles, and GSX structure like in real time and see the changes flowing through. And it allows you to do like make changes on your design and it reflects immediately inside of your code. And the code that actually writes is a very, very good code. And on top of all of that, you can actually access the Git features and you can push and pull and collaborate with your team and so much more. And the best part about it is actually supports TypeScript. That means you're going to write a really, really clean code. And when it comes to styling, it supports more of like CSS, SAS, CSS modules, and Tailwind. So everything you need and you love in one single place. So this video is sponsored by Codex and the Wix team. So to get started with Codex, you can actually go to codex.com to basically learn more about and actually see all the features that actually supports and everything. But to actually get started, you need to download Codex, which is of course free and it's actually still in beta. So you just head over here to download Codex, you click on it, it takes you, oh, for Windows, Mac, Intel Ship, or Apple Silicon, or you can go for Linux. So once Codex is actually installed and you're logged in using your Wix account, you're actually good to go. Now, for getting started with this one, there's actually a bunch of ways you can get started and actually create your first projects. So first, you can actually start and create a project from scratch, like completely bare bone, empty projects using Vite or Webpack, which of course supports all the technologies on top in here. Or you can actually open a local project. So if you already have a project that is working and everything, it can be easily imported into Codex and actually the configuration will be put together. Everything's gonna be set up for you together using Codex. Everything is gonna be easily set up for you. And of course, you can actually go ahead and clone this using from like a Git repository if you ever want to, or you can check out your projects here, which I've created a bunch of them. So you can head over to a new project, you click Vite, and you can actually give it a name and the path where this should be actually saved. So I can give it, oh, my Codex projects or my Codex app in here. We're gonna use Vite, CS, CSS, and CSS modules, create, and actually gonna go ahead and use Vite to actually create the projects for you and set up everything behind the scenes. And here, it's gonna ask you, oh, do you really wanna actually run the install script? Of course, I wanna do that. So I click run and just wait for the install script, which are gonna use NPM to install the older dependency. And once it's done, click close and you're good to go. And there you go, you've got your new project. Now, for the projects in here, you have boards. So Codex has actually boards and you actually create as many boards as you want. Board and components are completely different. Components is just like a React component. A board is actually where you can render many or just a single or multiple components into a single place. A board is just for showcasing and actually allows you to manage and manipulate and play around with everything you want. So for example, in here, by default, this React application in here, an empty project has an app board, which is basically just like having the same, you know, empty web page in here for V pretty much. So I can go ahead and click on this one. It's actually gonna take me to the board. And there you go. This is actually the visual IDE in here where you see your application live. And from the right hand side in here, you see the properties. So like when you select an element, you're gonna find all the properties. And the most important part is actually the viewing the code. So if you hit the code in here, you're gonna have a fully fledged, code editor in here for you, which is just using the same code editor or backbone kind of technology that VS Code uses, which is Monaco. Basically, it allows you to edit your code in here and actually view exactly what is being rendered side by side. And if you ever want to see the files or the projects that you're actually working on, you can go in and click on this little icon in here and it's going to bring for you like literally all the projects files that actually exist inside of your projects. So it's pretty much like VS Code in here, like an editor where we pretty much you can basically view and actually see the code in here live while you edit. So for Codex, it has a really powerful feature, which is boards. So boards in here actually allows you to render different sections, actually manage them and actually view and design them in real time. So for example, in here, I have a simple application, which is a landing page for an AI tool. And here, as you see, I already created two boards. The first board is the main application board, the main landing page board. And I just wanted to create like another board in here just to view the footer and actually edit the footer components separately from the rest of the main application. So for example, in here, if I go ahead and click on the app board in here, it's gonna open for me the main board. And actually see, I can see my landing page in here, which created, of course, everything that I wanna see. And if I go back to the home page in here, I can easily see all my boards from like the up board, which include all the landing page or the footer board. And of course, if you click on any of one of them, it's gonna immediately take you inside of the board you want. Of course, boards are just simple code in here. 
using a library from Wix or Codex, it's called React Board in here that allows you to create boards in here. You provide it with like, what is the board? You provide it like a React component and some props in here. And of course, this will actually render for you the board in here, however you would like. So let's say we want to create a new board to see the features side of section. So we go to boards in here. It's going to tell me, oh, what, what is the name of a board you actually want to create with? So I'm going to do all oh, features board. And as clear in here, creates a file set of like codecs, boards, featured board and dot board dot TSX, which uses, of course, TypeScript by default. I'm going to click create in here. And there you go. Now I have my empty canvas sort of board where actually you can everything in here. It's crazy. The board in here, if I put like, oh, hey there or something, it's crazy. Like I've got hey there right into that one. Now, if you want to add elements to the board, you can easily do that. So you can go to like add elements in top in here. And you have got a variety of elements to select so from the basic elements like div, image, video to typography in here from H1 to like H6 and paragraphs and forms. And pretty much in here, you can access all the elements, all the standard HTML elements where you can basically just drag and drop them. And can, so for instance, say, let's go ahead and put like an H1 in here. So I can just, or I can go in and access the components that I have inside of my projects. So for example, in here, go to components and I can do rescan for components or scan for components. And it's going to list me all the components, all the available React components that are inside of like the components folder. So you're going to find that one in there. So for example, access the feature component. And I can just simply click on it in here. And there you go. Now we got the features component being rendered inside of a features board. As you see on the ailments panel in here, you can exactly see what basically what component you're rendering, which is the features components. And you can click on the edit pencil in here and it can view exactly all the building blocks, all the standard HTML elements that are actually building this features component starting from like the sections dot features to the H2 title in here. And it's basically like when I go through all, all over them, codex editor in here tells me exactly which component it is. So you can immediately notice that it actually can easily edit it from the editor. So for example, I can click on this one text in here, or I can just select something different. And let's say I want to just change the text in here, which is like, we are different to, uh, we're different from the rest. And it's like immediately gives you the feedback that you want and actually changes the actual text. Now let's say we want to view these text elements. We are different from the rest inside of our VS code editor. So Codex actually provides you with a really nice feature in here. So if you select the elements you want, like we are selecting our text in here, right click on it and you can do select and like open in VS code. If you click on this one, it's going to immediately open VS code for you. And the most important part is going to open VS code and actually give you exactly the title that you selected. Like, you know, the title element we were in, it's it just going to give you like, you know, the cursor right into that particular line of code. So you don't actually have to go through and actually search the code or anything. Anything, it's just going to immediately take you to the exact line of code and the exact element in here and the exact text, which of course is as clear as in here, it actually made changes. So it made changes that we already made in here. It did it, it actually saved the file for us and everything looks pretty good. And that just actually made Codex works really, really well and side by side with VS Code IDE. So it doesn't actually like place the ID, it just works smoothly side by side with it. Now let's go back into the up board in here. As close in here, we can see the board and we can see our app element in here. So if you click on the pencil in here, because it's actually, you know, the app is the main parent element and it has actually the children of all of these starting from like the hitter there to the main in here. And each one of those actually has a child component. So like bar, excuse me, like when I when I go each over one of these, I actually highlights it in the stage. So it tells you exactly which one matches the design in here from the right hand side in here. So you can immediately see that in action. So if you go to the bar, this is actually in the top bar. So it highlights, you know, the intro, it highlights the feature section, and it actually goes if you go to like footer or find out more, it just highlights both of those as well. Now, let's say, for example, when I go to the bar component, here. so if I want to actually select the bar component, I can right click on it. And let's say I want to just like edit the code inside of the bar component. So if I right click on this one, I go to view code, immediately takes me to the bar component here. And let's say if I double click on the bar code, I go inside of it, it's see like it highlights everything. So if I ever want to like, for example, uh, see which component that is, I do view code, it just like highlights everything in the code view in here which is of course, we are inside of the bar component in here, it just like tells you exactly which is the GSX part that's been actually like rendering everything here, like the from like the PDF title in here to all the buttons to the, the main view plans button in here, and yada, yada, yada. So it kind of like visualizes your code inside of the editor so you can easily edit and manage the code 
without spending that much time. Now let's take a look into another really great feature of Codex, which is the properties panel. So for example, in here, let's go ahead and select the features section, which has, of course, you can list like multiple features in here, for example, oh, our service is fast, free, for example, uh, it runs like in one minute, you can set it up and everything. So let's say inside of that component, we can click on it. As you in here has like a title, it has, you know, a bunch of stuff in here. But what we care about most is actually those reusable components, which called the icon title text. Each one of these is actually the same component and each one of them if we select them in here and if you look at the right hand side that means to like the properties panel you can easily see that each this one this particular component is a reusable component and it takes three main props the icon the text and the title so the title in here is like, of course, the title that gets displayed, for example, if you select this one, you know, free uh, text and you're like, oh, we don't want you to be worrying about high monthly costs and yada, yada, yada. And the icon, like which particular icon you should be displaying on top in here. So using the properties panel, you can easily see which props each like component in here, the icon title text component takes and you can easily manage them by just like selecting each one of those and actually like go ahead. For example, we want to change the text in here. Like for example, select that so I can do, oh, that's pretty cool. And it's cruising here just like changes everything in real time. Or for example, for an icon in here, if you click on edit code, it's going to take you exactly to the icon that's being displayed in here and you can edit that through the code. Also, Codex has a really, really nice feature which allows you to manage and actually style any component or elements the way you like. So for instance, in here, for example, if you go inside of like the bar component and actually select the navigation bar, excuse me, like the navigation in here has a bunch of buttons. Now I'm more of interested about this view plans button. So I can select one, one not the text, actually it's just the button I want. And if you look at the right hand side in here, it has actually a styles panel. So if you simply just click on the styles panel in here, you're going to find all the styles that are available. So for example, we can start with classes in here. They are actually pretty, pretty good. So for example, the screen in here, like we have classes and it actually tells you which classes are applied to this button, which is like the few plans button bar. This is actually the class or the CSS class that is being applied right now. And you can actually add classes. So if we select in this one, it's going to tell you like what are the available CSS modules, like the files and each class inside of them. That's pretty, pretty smart about like CSS classes. So it kind of like analyzes everything for you and it grabs exactly what classes you already have inside of your CSS modules, and it just tells you if, like each one of them. For example, in here, if you go to the nav module.css, I can, for example, select this option and it gets added immediately. Or if you don't actually find the class you're looking for, you can actually go ahead and create a class by yourself. So you can do plans button, for example, if you just type in, it's going to have like create new class and it tells you which, which actually CSS module or CSS file you want to apply that one into. So you can either create a new one, actually by default, it's going to create a new one for you, or you can go ahead into the nav module.css and actually select, you know, a CSS module that you already have inside of your projects. So if you select that one in here, and you hit enter, that's actually going to create that one for you. And if you do, for example, like view code, like right click on the button in here, view code, it's going to take you to the code in here. So you see like the new plan style or plans button from the styles has been added. If you go inside of the styles or uh, let me just see that. So if you go back on the top, so if you go into like, you know, the nav.module.css and if you look a little down in here, we're going to find, uh, we should find the new ones. There you go. There's actually the class that got created for us by Codex automatically. And of course, you can actually go in inside of that class and you can add whatever from like, you know, color to be red and actually you can see like the color gets changed immediately to, for your example, uh, font weight to, for example, be 700 to make that bold and yada, yada, yada. Or if you're not a big fan of like doing classes and CSS anymore, you can actually use the styles pattern here to pretty much add everything visually. So for example, from the layout in here, you can choose like block layout to inline block to inline flex in here or grid if you want. If you just like select that one, it's going to be immediately applied from overflow. For example, in here, if you just down to position, there is spacing, um, there is size in here, like width and height. Or if you just go all the way down in here, it's clearly like it tells us there's a font weight of 700. We can actually go ahead and change that. So if you select normal font weight, it just goes down in here. If you select, for example, I think 500 is better. And for the color here, it uses HSL. So if you select color, it's going to give you a nice color picker, a really nice small color picker in here that you can use like the native CSS values that you already have, like the CSS variables that you already have inside of your project. Or you can actually go ahead and actually, you know, choose whatever color from the top in here. So let's say I want more of a bluish color. 
or for the borders in here, you can also just change, you know, the color of the borders, maybe I want uh, sort of a bluish border as well, if that makes sense. And so much more, pretty much you, you can find everything that you need about CSS and styling and everything inside of that styles panel. So let's go and actually see if the actual changes we made on the styles panel in here are applied into our, you know, CSS classes or not. So we can go back to the bottom in here to the, you know, the stage or the actual editor, we can right click and you can go to open VS code again. And it's going to immediately take us to VS Code. As you see now, we have two classes from the plans button to the view plans button in here. And both of those actually coming from the styles, which are imported from nav modules. So we go inside of the navigation module, open that one in here, and scroll all the way down to our new class that we just created, which is the plans button. As you see, it has all the styles we added from like font weight 500 to display in line to the color, the blue color we chose for both of the, you know, the text color in here and the border color and as well like the border radius. So everything got applied for us in a really, really nice manner. Everything automatically happened and, you know, gets applied from codex into our code in here like it was written by a real human. And the awesome part about this one, it actually uses and utilizes Git for totally new or actually just adding those changes to this stash file. So for example, in here, if you look at this, it tells me like you added this 24 seconds ago, or you made these changes 24 seconds ago. And if you go to the version controls that are VS code in here, that's going to seem like it made the changes for those, like the note nav module in here and actually stash them for you. So they're actually ready to go and be committed and pushed into your repository. Now, when it comes to responsiveness, you can easily view the responsive design in real time in here from the codex editor, and you can edit the code if you ever need to. So like if you go to the codex in here, you're going to find this little kind of lines in here, which actually tells you if this is, you know, how to control the width of the canvas or of the actual board in here, which of course is going to be just a simple browser sort of window. So you can just like click on it, drag it, and it's you immediately notice that, oh, this is looking pretty good. It looks pretty responsive. I can easily change the responsiveness in here and it works really, really well. Or if you want to actually choose from preset, actually it tells you exactly like the width and the heights of the current window, or you can choose from different presets in here from like iPhone, iPhone 12, and so much more. So you can easily work on the responsive design of your website with React. Codex actually can allow you as well to undo or redo any changes you made. So if you made a mistake or you want to go back to the previous version or the previous style that you like better, you can easily go to the top buttons in here like redo or undo. Plus, it has actually Git capabilities built in into the editor itself from like committing the changes or syncing you know, the projects in here into a public repository or your private repository or something. So for example, I can go and click on commit and it tells you exactly, oh, you have got 21 files to commit to main branch. And if you hit on review changes, it tells you exactly what are the changes you've got in here. I've got 21 files, you can see them, you can actually add a commit in here and you can commit them. And you can open the diff in here to tell you exactly what is the difference between that. Now let's try to go ahead and sync that one. So if we click on the sync publish projects button in here on the top, so I'm going to do sync projects, it's going to tell me, oh, you need to log in with GitHub and create an empty repository. Of course, I can do continue. And this will actually take me to GitHub so you can authorize that. And once you're authorized, and you actually create a simple repository in here, or you can actually tell it to create it for you. And here simply can go in and do create and this will actually go in and create and actually push everything for me. Now it created the repository for us. That's good. Now let's go ahead and do commits and actually do uh, my landing page. So I commit everything in here, commits and actually going to commit everything for me. And if you quickly take a look on the GitHub repository, we're going to find it there. The other really awesome part about Codex, actually, you can share your project. Anybody with a link can access the projects. So if you go to the share button here on the top, you click share and it's going to tell you, oh, which link you want to actually do or link name here and I provide, for example, then I go Codex, React, landing page, maybe just something more descriptive. So do click do that, click publish. And yeah, of course, just wait a couple of seconds in here for it to be uploaded and actually shared. And there you go. Now we've got the link created and you can actually easy to go in and copy the link in here. So if you go to the browser, submit the link, click on it, it's actually going to take you exactly to the only version of Codex where you can actually see your project. And of course, you can copy the link, give it to anybody, and you can easily access the project. And there you go. You can easily see and manage the project. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead and check out Codex. It's in beta right now. You can download it for free and stop playing around with it. It's a really, really awesome visual ID for React. So anyway, guys, see you guys hopefully in the next ones.